ていかれるそうですかどちらまで行かれるそれでは。どちらまで行かれそうですか Mitsu, you took forever, man. How long were you gonna leave me hanging? Sorry, Aniki. I had to find somewhere out of earshot. Not so easy around here. Where are you now? Omi Alliance headquarters. The officers that got here early had me slaving away in the kitchen. They wanted to pregame, huh? I've been seeing tons of catering people going in. Have. Aniki, are you? Yeah, I'm just outside. Wanted to save you the trouble of calling me, but I guess it's too late for that. Why on earth would you do that? Arakawa san's in there right now, isn't he? What? Yeah, he's here, but don't come in. I need to arrange a secure meeting spot for you two. I need more time. No way. You have no freaking clue how long I've been waiting for this. Hey, come on, dude. I told you to stay in Yokohama until I contacted you. Yeah, I think you might have said that. Might? I said it clear as day. Well, surprise, I'm here a little early. You would be too if you were me. <sighs> God damn it, man. Fine. But for now, get the hell out of here. You know that if someone at HQ recognizes you, you're fucked, right? Proper fucked! Oh, chill out. It's not like the place is crawling with Omi or anything. It's just these catering guys rolling their stuff around. Hey, if I disguise myself as one of them, I could slip right in. No, 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 Kasuga. Stop right there. Don't even think about it. Me too. I need to see Arakawa-san. I need to! This has been on my mind ever since he shot me in Kamurocho. Don't you get that? No, you don't get it. 
You can't. And I don't give a shit. I'm going in. Wait, Aniki? Where is he in the headquarters? Look, you need to... Not gonna tell me? I see how it is. Guess I'll have to ask around inside. You're gonna get mobbed, dude! I'll take down anyone who stands between me and Arakawa-san. Aniki... Hey, if you just tell me where he is, I'll do my best to avoid any fights. Okay. Arakawa-san. He's in a room called the Dragon... Dragon Chamber. Got it. Is he alone? No. He has some guests. Three people. All right. Thanks, Mitsu. Aniki, are you really going to do this? Okay. I know... Finally beat it out of him, huh? Well, let's go then. No, I should do this. And look, guys, I'm grateful, but there'll be no hard feelings if you... Really? You're pulling this martyr shit now? Yeah, what's with pushing us away? You know, we didn't come to Osaka for the pleasure. Hey, hey look what I found. This box was just sitting over there. And by the way, Osaka's been fun, but playing to her... That's quite a find. It's... Guys, I... Keep moving, keep moving! Straight back to the parking garage! That there's the waiting room. You lost or something, pal? Yeah? Hey, someone deal with this guy. It's all good. Hey, catering boys, over here! Careful where you step now. Everyone's famished as hell. Any moment, they're gonna start hollering for food. Yo, someone go see if any more trucks can fit! Is the beer here yet? These guys will need booze! Hey, our Kawasan's in a back room called the Dragon Ch Hey, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should I open it? Sweet!
Should I open it? Got it!
Should I open it? Sweet! Hey, who are you fellas? Oh, uh, just on our way to the dragon? Yeah, it's just up those, did the acting captain ask? Uh, you mean Arakawa-san? If he'd called for you? Seems you're lacking an ass. Don't know what to tell you. He said something about how busy everyone... <laughs> no way. Give me the name of the guy who said you... I want to know their... F uh, sure. Um... You're shady as hell, Scrub. How about your name? No name that you'd recognize, but I'm from the Ark. Ain't what I asked. What's your Look, damn man. stop? Stop! Kasuga. You... Dude, why not make up an it? Oops. Well, sure. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. So. It also happens to be the name of the fucker the captain shot in Kamara. Oh, shit. For once, we got the numbers. Hell yeah. Of... You wanna fight? Bring it on. Yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. Right. You're gonna get stopped. Don't get caught. Losing it. You're in it now. Watch this. You're gonna be in a war. Yeah. It's boost time. Cool. And we have to aim. Check this out. Cool. Ah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Give me your hand. There. That'll do it. Let's get going. Isn't that the line? I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get him, Kasuga. If they wise up and call for help, we're screwed. Huh. You think we'd do that? Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I have always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. <laughs> Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that one. Uh, Ichiban, something feels kind of off about them. I know. Wouldn't expect any less from the Omi Alliance HQ. About time you guys got that through your heads. Yo. 
I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they call the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and? That wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track anymore? All I'm saying is, if that's you, why the hell are you guarding the stairs of fucking Omi Alliance HQ? <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? Well then good luck beating the answers out of us. <laughs> Talking kind of big there, aren't you, Majima? Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! <clears throat> Don't you worry, fellas! I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time! Let's go! It's Goro Majima's comeback tour! <laughs> this ought to be good. Okay. Let's see. You wanna go? I got this! Huh? You're done now. Cool, let's do it. I'm not backing down. You wanna go? You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Weak. Come on now! Right. You're in it now. Oh yeah. This guy. You wanna fight? I love you. Oh. <laughs> Take the risk. Let's go. I'm not backing down. Get serious. Hmm. Don't get caught. Yeah. You're gonna be in a world. Keep your ass. Gotta hold it together. Check this out. Got something for you. Here we go. Take your best shot. Try this on the side. Uh -huh. yeah. This is my turn. 
turn yet. Fine. The iPad. Hey, this shit can go sideways quick. If Hold it together. Get it, see 
as it takes! Let's go. You're gonna be in a world. 
upon the pits. It's booze time! <laughs> Good. You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. <sighs> yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. Wait, you two were holding back that whole time? <sighs> guys, don't let them get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up! That's enough! Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. <gasps> hey. Isn't that him? Yeah, it's Arakawa. <gasps> Boss! Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Wait a second. The sixth chairman's here? Sixth chairman. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichibang. Ichibang Kasuga, of the Arakawa family. Loyal to the Tojo clan. I'm Daigo Dojima. I see you've met Goro Majima. And his sworn brother, Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, Sixth Chairman! Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? It was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, Majima-san. <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. What the hell, guys? What's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Looking forward to next time, Ichiban Kasuga.
Sit down, Ichi. The rest of you are welcome to take a seat as well. Okay. I can do that. So, to start, Majima, Saejima, and the chairman have all been laying low. For a while, actually. It's been two years now since the Kamurocho 3K plan. Right now, the only people who know they're in this room are also in this room. The Kamurocho 3K plan was when the young master cracked down on crime, right? Yes. And you might already know this. It only succeeded because they had intel from a Tojo clan insider. <sighs> you might have heard rumors that the insider leaked the info to Masato after he was elected governor. That insider was myself. All right, but if the six chairman's not gonna speak up, I'm guessing there's more to this story? I got that right, six chairman? Ichiban, easy. It's fine, I'll explain. <clears throat> Patriarch Arakawa didn't betray the Tojo clan. He leaked the Tojo clan's inside information with my complete approval. The hell? At my request, Arakawa-san played the part of a scheming two-faced traitor. And ultimately that led to him having to shoot you, unfortunately. I'm sure that hasn't been easy for either of you to come to terms with. But that can't be the whole story, right? It's too easy. You told me this much. You might as well tell me everything. Please. <laughs> well, it's not like you've left me anywhere to run. You don't mind, do you, Arakawa-san? Sounds like he's gonna make this trip worth it, Ichiban. It all started when Masato became governor. Of course, he was Ryo Aoki by then. He started pushing the Arakawa family to leak inside info, which he'd paired with his 3K plan and used it to crush the Tojo clan. At first, I refused. Then he threatened to arrest me under anti-Yakuza laws as many times as it took for my family to collapse. He threatened his own father? He did. And as I was trying to think of a solution, Sawashiro came up with one. His idea was to strike a bargain, to give up the info as long as Masato agreed to extend us government protection. At the very least, that would keep him from grinding the family into dust. <laughs> Sometimes I think Sawashiro is softer on Masato than I am. I didn't agree with him at first, and besides, it wasn't my decision to make. I laid it all out to the sixth chairman told him what Masato had asked of me, and how, if I turned down the request, he'd probably just threaten another family. Eventually, someone would give in and betray the Tojo clan. I couldn't allow that to happen. I knew the chairman would think like Masato in a way I couldn't. Not only because they're closer to each other in age, but also because he's my son. You never truly know your children. You yearn to, but in the end, they're a different generation. <laughs> How'd the sixth chairman get so popular with old fools? <laughs> You're no spring chicken yourself, you know. If Arakawa-san hadn't gone along with the plan, he would have been arrested under some false pretense. The anti-Yakuza laws are so open-ended, the government's got a vice grip on us. We've come into an age where politicians and law enforcement can use these laws to bend the Yakuza to their will. Which means, the Yakuza way of life is dead as we know it. Soon enough, the only thing a Yakuza crest will symbolize is a government slave. The Tojo clan aren't anyone's slaves. Sounds dramatic. What else do you call those so completely under the control of others? We've already had a man of some importance imprisoned for his refusal to submit. He had a subordinate who fought back against police harassment, and they found him liable as the man's superior. 
That was Masaru Watase, captain of the Omi Alliance. De facto leader of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. He gets out of prison tomorrow. And this headquarters will be his first stop. That's why we've gone into hiding. We know what tomorrow will bring. What? What's it gonna bring? You gonna try to do something to Watase? Don't tell me you're gonna... Attack him? No. What good would that do us? Yeah, true. But what is it then? We're going to dissolve Japan's two largest factions. The Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan. Watase will make a public announcement of his plan to file the paperwork. Whoa! Dissolve the Omi and the Tojo? Just like that? Not just like that. Watase and I considered this carefully. Unless Prison changed his mind. But there's no way all the current Yakuza would accept this! True. And how they react is anyone's guess. Tomorrow is going to be a day of reckoning for us all. That's why I need all the allies I can get. People I can trust completely. Ichiban, didn't Mitsu say the same thing to you? Ugh. <sighs> so that's how. Damn it, man. If you just your fault for making me wait, and you freaking traded blows with Majima san and Saijima san? I just about shit my pants when I heard that. <laughs> Any other creep? Oh, shut up. I've got enough people. <sighs> oh, the fact remains Captain Watase leaves prison today. Arakawa san and all those Tojo officers have it. All we have to do is. Yeah, well, if Arakawa san thinks it's. Aniki, you gotta realize. Right now, we need allies. Does that describe you? <laughs> Again, I said I'm on board. And so are my friends from Eugene Show. Talk about committed. That's my pals to a T. We finish what we start. That's a little more epic than I remember it. But we're in. Well, whenever you're ready. I'll come out to get you so we can avoid the disaster that was last time. Hey. Hold up there. Who's this guy again? Tendo. One of the Omi lieutenants. Yeah. I think I recognize him. From where? What you mumbling to yourself about? Spit it out. While you're at it, why are you here and how'd you even get in? Tendo. Let him through. He's my guest. Your guest, huh? But acting captain, isn't he... Exactly right. 
The man who took a bullet from my gun straight on. And now here he is, back from hell itself to see the captain released from prison. Yeah? That is real commitment. Well, if he causes any trouble, any at all, it'll be on you to clean up the mess, agreed? It'll be fine. All right. I'll go back to trying to figure out what the hell is going down here today. Nothing to figure out except the popcorn. So you can watch the shit turn the Omi Alliance on its head. You think? Remember what you did in Eugene Show? Now it's your turn. I just realized who he is. He used to be a star heavyweight boxer. He's the loony who agreed to fix a fight for money, but when he didn't get paid, he beat the fixers to death. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. <laughs> what a role model, huh? Captain, welcome home, sir. Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? Oh, no. As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichibang? Oh... Mm hmm Remember now? Yeah, but... I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. This is going to send shockwaves through our world, 
and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? What did you have to do? The six chairman planned every last detail. Watase was involved too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, Watase had just been thrown behind bars by way of the 3K plan. And with their leader out of sight and out of mind, one wrong move could have started a coup. Right. But then we had the idea to use the Kamurocho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho just as we knew he would. He had no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. In reality, the 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Apparently... After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor, dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. Which leads us to Sotenbori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo. Weakened. Spread too thin. And this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes. And he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release is here. And we can make our announcement. You, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! <laughs> I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy! Yeah, very impressive. These guys are all Omi officers, huh? There are still this many? Even with half of them in Kamurocho? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited! We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD! I know! Most of you are none too happy about it, so listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo? This kind of brawl? Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Shit. <laughs> Let's make it one to remember! Here we go. Who can fix it? Wanna fight? 
right? <laughs> Try this on the side. I love you all. Those yeah, I got yes. this. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you out of here? Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, Get alive. Who I'm not backing down. Let's go. You're gonna get stomped. It's go time. Don't get cocky. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Have fun with this. Take your best shot. It's booze time. Cool. Come on now. You wanna fight? Right. Check this out. Here I go. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. I got this. Ah, cut it. Jump. Okay. Get alive. Watch this. I got a big old bottle of milk. <laughs> Check this out! Best shot. I'm going for the diesel on me! Here we go! Try this on your side! Gone. So he's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. Watase? How did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back. Even if it costs me my life. <laughs> I don't know who you are. You sure know how to make an entrance. This feast ain't over till it's over! <laughs> 
Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. Hey, Ichi. Arakawa-san. Sorry for not standing up. <laughs> my body's not following my orders right now. Stop trying. You deserve to relax for once. I owe you so much. If you hadn't shown up with all your allies, things might have gone sideways. No, I didn't do anything. It was all my friends doing. <laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. Arakawa-san. I'm very impressed and... So happy you survived all this, Ichi. Hold on! Does this mean you were hiding the six chairmen this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm pretty damn confused. Well, when you have more money than you know what to do with, social connections come naturally. Even unique connections like six chairman Daigoku. We met under strictly professional circumstances, of course. He came to me for help after the Kamurocho 3K plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san, too? Oh, yes. And can I just say, despite their formidable reputations, they were perfect gentlemen each time I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. Of course, then I got lost in the fun of the fu- <laughs> The fight of- You are a Kawa fan, you! Are you really? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. Call it a date, I guess. Oh, how romantic. You'll have to dish about it. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk. I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. It'd be impolite to turn him down. Well, I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Heian Tower, you take it. Well, it was kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. Heh. <laughs> Kasuga. I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> well, is Sotenbori all quiet now with the Omi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians, and certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza, but I guess it's only natural when... A... Any Omi guys right? No, even if they did. Even when they had real strength. They didn't manage to stop us from submitting, and they've only waned since then. Hate to say it, but th we don't need to dunk their faces in the bowl, too. Did you really know it would all- No, we just did the best we could. And this is how- I can't tell the future any more than the next- Well, you had me fooled. <laughs> I'm sure Masato's in a rage right now. <laughs> he must be losing his mind. All his plans hinged on the Omi's support. And I just pulled a r I never could help myself from giving in to his desires if he threw a fit. 
It's been true since he was a toddler. <laughs> I'd always hoped he'd grow out of temper tantrums. <laughs> Some things between a father... But I can't afford to go easy on him anymore. No? He isn't aware that well before he was governor, the sixth chairman and what I said. By the time he pressured me to sell out the Tojo clan, all that did was accelerate their... <sighs> Now Masato knows what growing power tastes. If I don't stop him before it grows too large for his throat, he'll choke. He'll lose everything. Everything he's... I... I just don't want to see... <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Boss. Hmm? Earlier, you said you don't have a title. So, what's your plan from here? The sixth chairman and Watase knew that many of their men would lose their way with no Yakuza path, so... They want to find some legal means to take in these... I'd like to help them with... I see. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> I think this is how every businessman must feel when he retires. Well, that being the case, can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? Ichi, are you? It's just... When I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still... After I sent you to prison in Masato's place... For 18 years... After lying to you that it was for the family... Well... I accepted that when I went. And then, after all that you did, I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. Your own strength kept you alive. The truth is, I've never helped you at all. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine. If you really want to beat yourself up about it. Then please let me back in the family with you. at a soap land called Shangri-La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. Huh? I 
I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago, on that cold New Year's Eve night. Akan is there, and she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. No, oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. You've got a good heart and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. Thank you, sir. I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Uh, good question. I don't really know. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. Well, no point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi. Ichiban Kasuga. I like messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga, you need to call me as soon as you get this. This morning, they found Arakawa's body in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> 